Hi, good morning, and welcome to Creative Innovation Centre's online workshop. Today, we'll be looking at calligraphy and ways in which to create a plate using a variety of materials that we will collage together to form a printing plate to create a print. An example of a plate that I've previously made, and as you can see, I've used a variety of different materials on top of this plate. Um, it's just a mount board that you usually use to frame artwork. And the good thing with these boards is that you can score into the surface of the board and then peel away the top layer to create a relief image. And I've also added masking tape and parcel tape. Uh, the masking tape adds texture to the image and the parcel tape allows me to wipe away the ink to maintain lighter areas or white areas. An example of this plate when printed is here and as you can see it shows the differences between the surface of the plate, the areas that I've cut away and the areas where I use masking tape to create forms of texture, in this case the bark of the tree and areas where the leaves and bushes are. And this has been run through a plate and this is an example of the same image but hand printed of which this demonstration will concentrate on. The materials that I use in creating this collagraph print I'll just show you here. We have a block printing medium, we have some oil based inks, a scalpel knife very sharp, a brush and two plates where I've already put some ink onto the surface where I shall be mixing these to create the colours required for the plate. You can use any type of printing ink, in this case I'm using oil based, uh, but you can use water based, um, but if you do use water based you may need to dampen the printing paper that you're using to print your image on just to ensure that all the ink lifts off the plate. The image that I'm going to use in this demonstration is this one, this is a drawing of a forest scene where I've sketched out some trees and leaves on an incline um, with the background uh, which will be mainly green. Now you can either transfer this directly onto the plate freehand, the plate being this one here, or you can also trace your image, so transfer it onto tracing paper and then be able to then flip it over and then transfer the image onto the plate, ensuring that it will fit snugly. And what I've done with this drawing is I've highlighted different areas for different things and I've written a little key on the, on the side. Now here the shaded areas are the areas that I'll be cutting from the plate. So on, on the actual plate itself, which is a mount board, which you use for framing artwork, um, I will cut with a scalpel knife the outline from each of the trees, and then I will lift the top layer and peel it off, therefore creating a relief that I'll use as the collagraph. But I will go through that in the step-by-step -step in a second. The other areas that I've marked out as I've put an M for masking tape, so this will be areas where I will lay some masking tape to create texture. Because as we know with masking tape there's a textured surface and that will retain some of the ink and add uh, a different texture to everything else around the object that's covered in masking tape. I'll do the same also for the leaves. The S in the drawing is just the surface, so those are the areas that I will just leave and not do anything with. The 
W is white areas, now that will be represented with brown masking tape. You can also use cello tape. The idea with that is being a shiny surface when you're wiping the top of the plate where the ink is layered, you'll be wiping away more of the ink from that surface and therefore ensuring that the white of the paper will show through and also create a, a difference between everything else. As with the plates, as you see, I've shown the basic outline and what we will do is begin cutting and showing the first process in what you need to do with your plate, which I shall do next. stage done for the cutting out of the bark of the trees. So as you can see, I've done one, two, three, four. Now these are on a lower layer than the surface layer, so they'll capture the ink and retain it for the print. What I'm going to show now is how you can use masking tape to create a layer, and in this instance I'm going to lay the masking tape on top of this tree again be very careful because you're using a knife so I'm just going to lay that lightly on top and then score again the outline of this tree The difference here is that the area outside of the tree I'm going to lift away so that masking tape is removed. to get a bit more elaborate. Just do this bit here. So what you could do if you wanted to is you could use the masking tape and then scrunch it up. try and create a more bark-like illusion. And you could also build up your tree like that. 
and then add that all the way up so you're creating a relief of the bark all the way up through the tree just by scrunching up smaller bits of mask and tape. So that's another way of doing it. Now I'm going to do the same with the leaves, but in this case, I'm not going to cut it. What I'm going to do is just, because I want to create uh, a more irregular shaped uh, areas, I'm just going to rip off little pieces. And then everywhere where there are leaves, I'm just going to stick that on top so they do become more textural rather than too flat. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of them here. should do is take some of this brown tape I'm just going to flip this over put lines from it. And here I'm just going to add in the backgrounds just to give a sense of some other trees in the backgrounds. So that way when I wipe away the ink that will hopefully create some differences. Now normally you would cover the entire surface with varnish. That will take usually 24 hours to dry properly. So that way then you've sealed the entire surface and it'll be nice and sturdy. Alternatively, if you're short on time and you want to get inking and printing straight away. What you can use instead is PVA. It's just a normal PVA adhesive sealant. I'm just going to add a log on the top and then just with a brush just cover the entire surface. So here we have a plate. Now that's had a layer of PVA applied to the surface, so that's now sealed the entire surface. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to put that to one side here. So I've got my two acrylic plates here with my ink and with my painter's knife, palette knife. I'm just going to take a little bit of the ink and mix up green I'm going to take a little bit of this block printing medium just so it will extend it a little and once I'm happy with the green that I want so I just want a very very fairly bright light green don't really want to go into the earthy greens and browns quite yet. What I will use here is with my brush. So I'll pick up some of the green and then I'll start working that onto the surface of the plate.
So here we have our plate already inked up, ready to go. And we're going to transfer it now. You can put it through a printing press, but in this case we're showing hand printing. So I've just got an ordinary piece of uh, printing paper, it's about 150 GSM, so it's quite thin. I'm just going to place that over the top with the image as central as I can get it. I'm just going to press with my hands just to hold it there. Now to press the image by hands, you can use a wooden spoon, which you can buy in any store, or you can use a specific tool, this baron here, or you can have a homemade one, where I just had a bit of wood with some felt stuck on the underside. But I'll use each of these. The first thing I do is just with the wooden spoon, is just whilst holding this in place, is I'm just going to go in a circular motion and start rubbing the top of the paper and you should be able to start seeing the image coming through. And this will be a combination of just what's coming off the wooden spoon onto the piece of paper. just lift it up to have a look then we can see the image see what's come out more areas may need a few more so if you wanted to rework some areas all you would need to do then is then take your plate line it up back on top and then just gently turn it back over and then you can continue to rub in the areas that you feel need more work. And then through the process, you will gradually create your collagraph print. You could also use this technique if you wanted to apply some more ink on top, you can do so. So you could take your image, go back, add more ink to specific areas. If you wanted to add more on the areas of the leaves, you can do so. And then again, just follow the same principle. Take your image, turn it over, line it up, replace, flip over, and then rub again to transfer that ink. And you can keep doing that process over and over until you get to a stage that you're happy with the finished product. But there you have it. There is a collagraph, an easy way of creating a collagraph print, which you can do at home just on a piece of mount board and some masking tape and solo tape, etc. I hope you've enjoyed this example of collagraph printing. And if you make some, do email them in to Creative Innovation Centre, we'd like to see them. And if you have any questions, please do email us and we'll answer them as best we can. So I hope you have a good day and enjoy creating a collagraph print. Thank you for joining. Take care.